Today we're gonna to do a 30 minute arms and abs barbell and dumbbell workout. You can do this as a follow along with me. I'm gonna start off the first strength section using a 30 kilo barbell, that's about 66 pounds, and some 10 kilo dumbbells, that's about 22 pounds each. But that's what's right for me, just pick what's right for you. First up though, we're gonna have a brief bodyweight warm up before we get into that main workout. So this warm up is just four exercises, 30 seconds each, linking one straight into the other. You don't need any equipment for this. We're just gonna get the elbows warmed up. So if you start with your hands down by your sides like this, nice open finger position. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl up, pronate over, push down, supinate forwards, up and down. You need to maximize the amount of rotation you can get before you push down, and same on the way up. I'm trying to get some mobility into the elbow joints to avoid too much stress, and then hopefully we can avoid developing any tendonitis in the elbows. You can link this straight into some circles, nice and simple. Just circling the arms forwards. We do 15 seconds forwards, and then 15 seconds back. and change direction. From here, we'll be lying on our backs, getting the core engaged with some leg drops. So lying onto your back. We're just going for alternating single leg drops. We're trying to keep the core engaged, avoiding any arching of the lower back off the mat as you drop one heel towards the floor. One leg's going to stay up a 90 degree angle as the other one drops down. And we can link this into a similar position actually into the wipers. So arms out, side to side drops, both knees together. You're trying to keep the opposite shoulder blade on the floor as you drop down, probably dropping the legs about two thirds of the way down on each side. From here, we'll go into that second round of the warm up, straight back to the feet. So start, arms forwards, curl up, pronate, push down. I'm trying to maximize that rotation you can get. Nice spread finger position, opening out those tendons around the hands. And the shoulders moving with these circles. And change direction. Getting ready to come down to the floor for those single leg drops. Alternating legs, making sure we stay engaged with the abs the whole time, avoiding that arch off the mat. This is basically just a dead bug exercise without the arms, if you've ever heard of one of them. Remember, this is linking into the final exercise of the warm up, those wipers. So, arms out, side to side drops, both legs together, keeping the opposite side rear delt and shoulder blade on the floor as we drop. And then we'll be ready for the main workout. Okay, so you've got time to load your barbell. I'm gonna use 30 kilos, which is gonna be quite heavy for me. That's about 66 pounds. I've got a pair of dumbbells, which are 10 kilos. That's about 22 pounds. You're gonna to need to be able to do about 12 reps of a straight bar curl with them. 
So pick what weight is right for you, but I always get asked what weight I'm using, so I thought I'd include it. I'm gonna do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises for three rounds, starting off with this nice strict barbell curl. So squeeze up, lower with control. You want to squeeze your biceps hard at the top. Bracing the core, keeping the body still. Okay, we're gonna lie on our back now. We're gonna have the barbell ready to press. We're gonna go for a close grip press. So take an, a relatively narrow grip on the bar. So just inside of the shoulder line will be fine. Nice tight elbows tucked into the sides. I'm gonna rep a little faster pace on this because for me, this is a bit lighter weight than that curl. But we're just gonna fit a few more reps in to keep both exercises feeling nice and even. Starting to feel it already. Keep those elbows in tight, emphasizing the triceps. That narrow grip will also emphasize the triceps. All right, onto the feet now. You're gonna need your dumbbells for this next one. We're gonna do a hammer curl. So that's a bicep curl, but you're gonna maintain a neutral grip with your hands. Keep going. If you're running out of energy and you can't make the full 40 seconds, you can always switch and start doing alternating hammer curls. Maybe start with doubles and then if you know you're not gonna finish, switch to those alternating so you can keep on moving throughout the whole 40 seconds. All right, onto the mat. Lying on your back, no equipment needed. We're gonna do some controlled bicycle crunches. So hands on the temples, both heels on the floor, almost straight legs. Opposite knee is gonna to come towards the opposite elbow. And we're gonna step, alternating legs. This is why I've called it a controlled bicycle crunch. It's almost just like doing individual Oblique crunches with a nice big rotation of the torso. I actually like to get one elbow to touch the floor as the other elbow makes contact or comes as close as you can to the knee. Even when we're in this nice open position like this, there should be no gap in your lower back, keeping everything braced. All right. So you've earned a short break. We've got one round done, two to go. This is the first of two main strength sections, but we'll be changing the exercises for the second section. But we've got those same exercises again for round two. So get ready for those barbell curls. Minimizing any swinging of the body. I like to unlock my knees. Keep my core braced.
lying on your back. Getting the barbell ready for that close grip floor press. A slightly faster rep tempo. Onto those hammer curls. Oh, I'm feeling tired already. So rather than stop, I'm just going to go to some alternating. It allows me to continue. Lying on your back on the mat. Ready for those controlled bicycle crunches. Hands on the temples. Tiny bend in the knees. Brace the core, getting rid of the arch in your lower back before you start. Crunch forwards and rotate. Great job, two down, one to go. This workout is actually part of a longer four week, 16 workout lift 2.0 barbell series. So if you're on that, well done, stick with that. If you're not on that yet, check out, it'll be in my playlist on my YouTube channel and I'll link in the description some info about it there as well. Let's get ready for round three. Feeling heavy now. Just trying to keep the reps nice and strict. Onto your back, ready for that narrow grip floor press. I like to do a little glute bridge to get the bar into place.
grabbing your dumbbells for those hammer curls. Lying on your back, ready for those bicycle crunches. Controlling each rep, keeping the abs engaged even when we're in this open position. All right, take a break. I'm gonna drop the barbell down to a total weight of 20 kilos, 44 pounds. If you want to take your training to a new level, consider joining my TPT virtual studio. This members area gives you exclusive access to an extensive follow along video library not available on YouTube. It also includes written workout plans you can do at your own pace, taking the guesswork out of training and optimizing your results. Learn to fuel your body for success with nutrition resources from meal plans to dietary strategies that work. Save yourself from expensive gym memberships, long travel times and average results by joining the virtual studio. To check it out, follow the link in this video's description after your workout. So first up, we've got a drag curl. So the bar's gonna drag up your body to just below chest height. So travel up in a straight line, squeeze at the top and then let it come back down. We're pulling the elbows back behind the body. I'm gonna pause at the top when the forearms are around parallel to the floor. And the bar doesn't need to come any higher than just below your chest level. And squeezing the biceps hard at the top you don't need a heavy weight for this. Imagine the bars in a Smith machine traveling up and down in a straight line. Okay, next up, lying on your back with the barbell. We're gonna do some leg raises. We're gonna maintain a slight reaching crunch position with the upper body and do leg raises towards the bar. Want your tailbone to come off the floor at the top and only lower down as far as you can support without your lower back arching off the mat. So staying on the mat, but swapping that barbell out for some dumbbells. You can do this with one dumbbell or two. You can have the feet on the floor, arms straight. We're just gonna reach in a small squeeze, crunch action, and then back down. Reach up, pause at the top, back down. 
if you're struggling holding it with both dumbbells, you could just get rid of one and take one instead like this. Depends how hard you're finding it. The base of your lower back can stay on the mat. We're just looking to drive the ribs up and round, stacking the abs together. This is not a sit up, this is a crunch. All right, staying on the mat again. You need both dumbbells. I'm gonna do a skull crusher. We're going to slowly lower the dumbbells either side of your ears and then extend at the elbow back to straight. We're trying to keep the upper part of the arm between the elbow and the shoulder relatively stationary throughout the rep. Just hinging at the elbow, making sure the elbows are not flaring out to the sides too much. Now I like to finish at the top straight but not vertical so actually holding this slight angle and that maintains tension on the triceps even in the lockout well done there's one round done two to go and that'll be the workout complete once we've done those so get ready for that drag curl Possibly one of the hardest ones in this workout if you're doing it properly. If you think it's too easy, you're probably doing it wrong or your weight's too light. So far, traveling up in a straight line. Elbows are coming back behind the body. I'm pausing when my forearms reach parallel to the floor. Squeezing the biceps hard and lowering the bar back down with control. As I said before, imagining you're in a Smith machine, just sliding up and down in a straight line. Okay, we've got those barbell leg raises with that engaged position. So the head and shoulders slightly off, the leg raises towards the bar, ensuring you're not arching your lower back off the mat on the way down. Even if it means just stopping a little earlier, maybe here, instead of going all the way. Obviously, if you can, come down here without arching, that's great. I'm gonna have to stop talking during this now. So swapping the bar out for one or two dumbbells. Just putting the feet flat on the floor. Remember this is not a sit up, it's just a reaching crunch. So we're gonna stack and squeeze the abs. We're holding at the top for one to two seconds, but we're not resting at the bottom. As soon as you reach back to the floor, you're coming straight back into the next rep without hesitation. Think about reaching the dumbbell up more than trying to get it over the legs. Grab both dumbbells, ready for those skull crushers.
Well done. Just one round to go. That's the arm and abs workout complete. As I said before, if you're not currently doing the lift 2.0 barbell series, make sure you check out that. You can go back to day one and start again and do the whole series with me. Lying on your back, ready for those leg raises. Most important technique tip for these is focusing on the lowering phase, not losing contact with your lower back on the floor. Grab in one or both dumbbells for that reach in front. Feet flat on the floor. Arms stay straight for the whole set. Squeeze up, minimizing time at the bottom of the rep. Pause in for a brief moment at the top of every rep while you squeeze your abs. Onto the final set of the whole workout with these skull crushes. Keep the elbows nice and neat, tucked in. Minimize the movement of the upper part of the arm. Let's finish the triceps off. Well done, that's the workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you following along from? I always love to hear that. Here's a quick upper body cool down stretch if you wanna do that now. And for the next day in the Lift 2.0 series, I'll link it here. See you again soon for another workout.